SABC News, independent and impartial. From an African perspective. The Zambian parliament has suspended 30 of its MPs belonging to the leading opposition, the Patriotic Front, for a period of 30 days for what the speaker says was unprocedural. Uh, uh, procedural rather and misconduct in the house the members of parliament protested last November against debating a motion on expenditure to the country's state house and the speaker is giving them the sentence saying as much as they have the privileges to vent dissatisfaction they should have not disrupted parliament business our Zambia correspondent Arthur David Sikopo has more on that material day leader of opposition in parliament Brian Mundovile said they would not debate the head one of State House that estimates the expenditure of State House, saying they were going to be drawing their mandate from a non-existent constitutional provision, stating that it was repealed in 2016. This is a debate on head zero one. It's not a point of order. And to engage in debate that will proceed in breach of the Constitution will be a violation of the oath which we all took. Mr. Speaker, I want to put it on record that we are proceeding with a protest to ensure that we are not part of this illegality. Later, the matter was taken to a parliamentary committee that recommended that action be taken against all members of parliament that protested in the House. And on 15th March 2022, Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, Atrakta Chisangano, made ruling... You shall not... Enter the precincts of the assembly. You shall not participate in an activity of the assembly or any committee. You shall not be paid the salary. I now order you, suspended PF members of parliament, to immediately leave the proceedings of the house. After being suspended, Mr. Mundovile, who is the leader of opposition in the house, had a press briefing, and their party president, who is acting, given Lubinda commended the members of parliament for their action in parliament and encouraged them to remain resolute for Zambians that they represent. But political analyst Ngande Monajeti makes this from the MP's suspension. Uh, instead of working out, they decided to protest within the parliament. And that is the serious you know, violation of the standing order that has that been. So we, we, we must go further and ask ourselves, and ask parliament. Does parliament want to continue with the same laws in, in terms of uh, the extent to which it can be said that the laws are consistent with Zambia today? If the answer is in the post, the, you know, the parliamentary rules and regulations are consistent with Zambian democracy, then that ought to be no problem. But the reality is that I think that a huge challenge. I think that uh, we are dealing with a reasonably difficult matter, a matter which on the surface looks like, wow, Somebody has been treated unfairly. But clearly at play is power politics. And power politics carries a danger which can derail democracy because power politics weigh more on what is good for a particular group as opposed to what is good for the country. The political analyst, Mr. Balanjiti, is now urging the aggrieved members of parliament to take legal action if they feel to have been judged unfairly in this matter. Because addressing a press conference will not deal with it. And this is why I'm saying maybe we need to stop playing the gallery. The right thing is for members of parliament to take this matter to the courts, and the courts are there to deal with it. Meanwhile, a Lusaka resident is saying that taking the legal route will not yield the desired progress. Threats by 30 suspended parliamentarians to take legal action is not only laughable, but lacks merit. Parliament is therefore responsible for its decisions as this is how the doctrine of separation of powers operates and the southern africa center for the reconstructive resolution of disputes SACOD, says in as much as there are rules and regulations that govern institutions there should always be room to allow freedoms of expression and he calls for balancing that said it is equally important that uh, in a democracy such as ours there must always be a very careful balancing uh, uh, act uh, where the enjoyment of um, uh, freedom of expression is concerned, but also the enforcement of such uh, uh, rules uh, uh, and regulations, because the two uh, are part and parcel of democracy. Sakot is now concerned that citizens from about 40 constituencies, that is, 30 suspended members of parliament, and nine who had their seats nullified 
and the matter still in court currently will be denied representation in parliament. And when you have about close to 40 MPs who are not present in the House, it means that that representation equally uh, is not there. Well, it remains to be seen what action the members of parliament that have been suspended would take. This is not the first time opposition members of parliament are being suspended from the House, as those in a government today, but when they were in the opposition, were suspended for walking out when the president of the country was in parliament to present an address. Reporting for the SABC's Channel Africa in Lusaka, Zambia, I'm Arthur Davis, Skopo. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, the work is now underway in Parliament after MPs returned yesterday for the March session. That is the story we're going to be taking a look at a little bit later on as we take a look at the Parliament in the Democratic Republic of Congo. But right now, let's move on to a new report by Human Rights Watch, which reveals that the Malian army and armed Islamist groups have killed at least 107 civilians in central and southwestern Mali since December 2021. According to the report by the Global Rights Group, the victims most some summarily executed uh, include traders, village chiefs,